Raised bed gardening or in-ground gardening, which one is better? Hi, it's Kayla with 5 Canadian Acres, and today I want to go through seven different categories and let's compare raised bed gardening versus in-ground gardening and see which one comes out ahead. Now the first category we're going to talk about is cost. Raised beds can be costly when you're first starting them out for the materials to build it and also the soil and whatnot to fill the bed. Whereas in-ground gardening, you can pretty much just take a patch of ground, till it up and plant something in it. So in this category, we're going to give the win to in-ground gardening. Our second category is soil and drainage. So with raised beds, you can pretty much pick whatever soil you want. You can get the best soil and they also have really good drainage. Whereas with in-ground gardening, you're stuck with whatever gar ground you have and it could have poor soil and poor drainage and that's all you have. So in this category, we're going to give the win to raised beds. Our third category is watering. Well, the raised beds will actually dry out because they have really good drainage and lots of surface area. They tend to dry out quicker than your in-ground beds. So you'll have to water your raised beds more than you'd have to water an in-ground bed. The in-ground beds have access to more of the water table. So in this category, the wind's going to in-ground gardening. Our next category is weeding, every gardener's favorite job. In-ground gardens tend to have more weeds as there's what we call a seed bank in the soil. So when you till up the soil, it brings lots of seeds out. So they'll tend to have a lot more weeds. Whereas your raised beds, you're able to access them and weed them a lot more. You're bringing in your own soil. So there'll be a lot less weeds in your raised beds. Raised beds wins this category. Our next category is seasonal gardening. So as you can see, these raised beds have melted a lot quicker than the in-ground garden. So that means I'm going to be able to plant my spring garden in these beds a lot sooner than in the ground. On another note though, perennials, things that live all winter in a raised bed, sometimes they can actually die because they thaw too soon and their roots get exposed to the cold. Whereas in the ground, this is my strawberry patch under here. So it's been insulated all winter long so those perennials will come back better than in a uh, raised bed. There's more protection in ground. So for this category, I'm actually going to tie the two. Depending on when you want to plant and what you're planting, in ground or raised beds will work. And for our last category, let's talk about growing space. In these raised beds, you're actually going to be limited to growing smaller plants. You're not going to want to grow a big, huge, gigantic Atlantic pumpkin in a small little raised bed. You're better off doing smaller things. In-ground gardening is better for crop gardens. You're doing 100 broccoli plants. It'd be a lot to build a raised bed 50 feet long. So there's just a lot more variety of things you can grow in ground. So in this category, in ground's going to take it. So once we add up all these points, it looks like there's a tie. That's because there are pros and cons to both raised beds and in-ground gardening. And it's just going to depend on what you want to do with your garden. I like to have a mixture. The raised beds are really beneficial. Put my spring garden in, plant a bunch of small things, companion planting. And then for my in-ground beds, I plant long rows of crops for my crop garden for harvesting and preserving. There's the best of both worlds. I hope this helped you in deciding what you're going to be doing for your garden this year, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.